You ever wonder, should I buy this game or should I rent this game? Well, AKA Barney Fife is here to help you make a decision either way. Is it worth 65? Hello, 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 hello. This is South, AKA Barney Fife. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Blast. Well, being on Blast isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it certainly isn't a good thing. Frag X, excuse me, Frag FX, my accessory review made by Splitfish. What is it? It is this, uh, it's a PS3 exclusive. It's a, uh, basically a PS2, PS3 can half controller design. Looks like a, a weed nunchuck that just fits in your hand here. Incorporated with a mouse, okay? Um, it's got the buttons just like uh, you would expect on one half of the uh, controller. Uh, it's got the little D-pad. It's actually got a nice little sensitivity knob right here um, that helps uh, so you don't have to go into the menu system. Then of course the, uh, the thumbstick. And then over here we have the mouse pad, the mouse that has the buttons here so when your hands fit right there you can do whatever you need to do. It's got the top buttons. Um, this is like a click in button, etc. etc. So, actually, this was the only button that I didn't think worked uh, because I think it's supposed to simulate this button right here. Um, and all of the four games I played, and that's a significant button that I needed to do, I needed to use. And, and none of the other ones worked, and the other ones had other functions. I noticed that. So, I'm assuming this was the only one that was left and it didn't work so I don't know if it was something I needed to do or whatever because I went on the uh, the website here um, tried to get some tips on how to use it because I'm not a PC gamer this is the closest your boy is gonna get to a, a PC right here um, PC game is looking at a game uh, accessory on there <laughs> but anyway um, with that said I, I played Midnight Club a racing game I played a third person SOCOM which is which is on there right now, you know, out there doing us morning right there. Um, and then I played Killzone 2, trying to get back into that um, first person FPS, fast paced action. So, um, and then the fourth game was the demo for Fight Night, which um, you have to use the right thumbstick. And my natural instinct is when I go like this, I want to bring it back. Well, in Fight Night, because every direction is a, um, is a move, I go like this and bring it back and that was two that was two moves so eventually if you do it right you're supposed to go this way that way you know whatever and eventually you'll find yourself you'll find your way off the the mouse pad there which by the way let me add is a great mouse pad um, if they don't sell anything else they should probably just sell just the mouse pad this thing is I don't know if you can see it when we get down it's really silky uh, it's like some kind of nice little satin finish or whatever but it's really nice they could probably just sell that alone and make some money on it um, but anyway uh, I've got a question for you PC gamers because um, right now I'm not really feeling this controller here because um, I went like I said I, w I went down to my local uh, uh, electronic store saw it on, on setup tried it a little bit it was like it was enough to make me buy it to say all right when I get it home you know let me further review they said I got 30 days with it so uh, looks like it's probably gonna go back but anyway maybe you can help me out uh, with this PC gamers tell me this okay because I'm, I'm having I'm, I'm okay going left to right because I you know I'm not a PC gamer so I don't really know all this stuff but but my problem was if somebody was behind me especially in kill zone you know you got to be on your toes how do you go do a 180 how do you turn around because because um, in it with this I had to go like this all the way off bring it back and then go like that and then I was at 180 which that's not gonna work for me because it really moves slow whereas with the controller I could just go you know or do something really quick and keep it down whatever so put that in the comments tell me how I can do that um, and with that said I think if you're a PC gamer um, that wants you know to be on the console a little more this might be an option for you because you're kind of used to this this mouse thing um, or if you're a console person that, that felt that maybe PC is having an advantage you can probably um, you know you want to take advantage of this but still want the feel of a, of a joystick um, this might be an option for you too um, but then again like I said I'm I'm not a PC gamer nor do I really care about using the mouse but I did I was intrigued enough to purchase it to see 
whether or not there was an advantage. And as of right now, I don't have the time nor the patience really to learn how to use this. And in the meantime, I'm, I'm more comfortable with using this. So there's no sense in me um, paying uh, $85 okay, for this. Because which is on the box here is 74 or 74. And it came out to $84, which I'm keeping the box just in case it goes back. It looks like it stays or numbered already. But anyway, um, out of the four games that I tried, I'd probably have to say uh, SOCOM was the most enjoyable experience. And I'd probably say the reason for that is because it was a slower paced game, because it's a more technical game. And I didn't have to move as fast as, uh, as I did in Killzone 2, because I was even killed in Killzone 2. So, um, so anyway, um, is it worth 85? For me, I would say no, but for somebody that's a that's already used to this or has the patience to want to learn to use it, you know, it's an option, you know, and 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 whether it's worth 85 to you, you know, is whether or not this is something you're you're really looking forward or is gonna you think is gonna help your gaming experience. So, um, is it worth 85? Whatever, you know, it's for you to decide. But but for me, being a straight console um, player, no, nah, I can't make it. Um, I'm gonna stick to this right here. So, um, oh, I forgot to show you. It comes with the manual, you know, like like that dude on the bronze. If you haven't seen that, go check that out on my uh, site. I mean, my site tech review, I think it was. And oh, I got another accessory review coming soon. Um, the Ace Combat Flight Stick. Yes, the Ace Combat Flight Stick. Um, I got one, and I got one for 39 bucks. And I'm gonna show you how, and I'm gonna tell you maybe. You can too can get one for 39 bucks. I love it way better than side tech. But anyway, look for that review. And then also, what are your thoughts on the new intro? The on blast commercial kind of incorporated that with the new commercial. So anyway, it's your boy South, aka Barney Fife, Frag FX by Splitfish. I'm out. So watch the videos, comment on the videos, share the videos, subscribe. Don't forget to stay tuned.